Is it possible to run Minecraft on a PowerPC Mac? That's the question I'm going to try to answer for you today. So what I've done is I've downloaded the Minecraft jar file, which is here on my desktop on my iBook G4. So the particular machine here is an iBook G4, early 2004 model. It has a 1.07 GHz PowerPC G4 processor running Mac OS X Tiger. This particular unit used to run Leopard, but I downgraded to Tiger yesterday. So now I've got a clean, clean way to work with this stuff. Got a 1.25 gigs of DDR, which is the maximum for this particular PowerPC Mac. So here's the Minecraft launcher. Um, when you go on a Minecraft website, I think I can show it in the background if it's still running. No, it's not. Okay. Watch we'll us quit the browser. So on the website of uh, Minecraft itself, it says Mac OS 10 download, but that's the one for the Intel Max. So that one's not going to work on a PowerPC. You have to download uh, just a regular jar file, which is the last download, which is mostly used for Linux purposes. But it should work also under Windows and Mac OS 10, as you can see now. Because in the end, all of all versions use the jar file to execute it, but you know, just have an other front end. Okay, Mojang looks kind of weird. I am running the latest Java version for OS 10 Tiger, though. Mm -hmm. I think these settings are a bit optimistic. I'll just put it on bright as always. Yeah, I think it's being a little bit optimistic here. I'll just add a server because loading the chunks of the world would dip the frame rate down so much that it wouldn't really be a good way to say, like, can this thing run Minecraft or not? So, I just have to type in the IP. Join server. Logging in. Just the moment of truth, people. Will it run or won't it? Black screen. Definitely a sound bug. That's interesting. That's not a good start. Okay, taking a look at the frame rate here. Mm, it's laggy. It's laggy. That oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, this is very, very, very laggy. I'd say this is, uh, I don't know, about uh, four or five frames a second, max. <laughs> That's not good. This is not good. As you can see, I'm just running the mouse around. And uh, it's not very responsive at all. Hmm. Let's turn that on, because we can. Okay, doesn't affect the frame rate, does improve the lighting. I could try running Optifine, but I doubt it will do anything, because it's already this laggy itself. Um, turn the lighting off. I'm just going to turn everything down now. Off, VSync off, bobbing off, render distance, normal, short, tiny. Okay, this absolute bare minimum you can set it to. 
and surprisingly we have aside from that little stutter there you know it just has a little bit of trouble loading the chunks it seems because if, if we look now around now see it just has to load the lava chunks but if it really has done so oh, oops, sorry for waving the camera around but you know this is workable this is definitely definitely playable so well well folks there you have it it can stutter at times because it has to load the chunks but if you turn everything down to the bare minimum you can play Minecraft on a Power PC Mac and even on an iBook G4 from early 2004 with a Radeon 9200 and a 1 gigahertz processor you know you just have to keep in mind that it will have these occasional hiccups and mine is being plagued with the logic board problems as well mostly concerning the graphics chip which will lock up the whole system every once in a while but not in Minecraft, only in Quake 3 Arena for some reason and in Unreal Tournament and anything that when I turn up the details it will just crash but that's not what this video is about this video was about running Minecraft on a PowerPC Mac as you can see if you turn everything down yes it can, you can play Minecraft even on this piece of shit pardon my French so yeah, hope this video was somewhat informative to you all hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching